Hello, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday with 3W. Wellness Wednesday is sponsored by 3W Medical for Women, a nonprofit medical clinic offering free of charge or low cost reproductive health services to women in the Seattle area, regardless of income or insurance status. 3W does not profit off of the reproductive health choices women make. The information shared in this podcast is the opinion of the speaker or speakers. Medical information is not intended as individual medical consultation, but for general education only. Always consult your own health professional for personalized advice regarding medical decisions. And if you're in the Seattle area, consider making an appointment to consult with us. I'm Helen Nguyen, CEO and co-founder of 3W Medical for Women and the host of today's podcast. Hello there, Wellness Wednesday listeners. This is yours truly, Helen Nguyen, CEO of 3W Medical for Women. I have with me today our wonderful advancement assistant, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Hello. Hello, Helen. (laughs) You guys might not know this about Teresa, but she is so talented. She's the one that makes all of our podcasts sound so good. She's the one that makes me sound so good because I do not sound this good all the time. You sound great. Thank you. She um, has a lot of great dirt on me on (laughs) things that I say incorrectly and things that I say funny. So um, thank you. I'm just going to have like a whole blooper reel. (laughs) And then we're just going to listen to it as a staff at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. (laughs) But so she's multi-talented and she has been such a wonderful addition to our team. But she's she's kind of one of the the rookies on our uh, in our team, in our organization compared to a lot Mm -hmm. of our other staff. Mm -hmm. So, Teresa, you've been with us for what, six months? Yeah, since beginning of February. Okay. So not, not that long. Not that long. <laughs> so she still is getting, you know, the hang of things and she she still has some questions about our organization, right, yeah. Teresa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this episode is going to be a just a, a a refresher about who we are as an organization. Who is 3W? Who makes up 3W? Is 3W a nonprofit? All those fun questions that you might be curious about right now. And Teresa was, well, I kind of had to drag her in here, but she was so (laughs) sweet to lend us some time on this podcast because she got some great questions. She's still learning Mm -hmm. and it gave me an idea to like, hey, let's just include her on the podcast because guess what? No one wants to listen to just me all the time. (laughs) I don't even want to listen to just me all the time. I think it's always a better podcast, Teresa, right? Mm -hmm. When there's another person that I'm talking to. Always good to have someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just Helen sitting in a room (laughs) just talking to herself. I mean, I love to hear myself, but not everybody does. So yeah, we're just going to go over some simple questions about 3W that Teresa has, and I'm just going to answer it like how I always do. Right, yeah. Teresa? Yeah, you're so good at answering all these questions. Oh, boy. I, I, yeah, you I have, better be. You have been answering these questions for quite a while. <laughs> I um, have, yeah. So. yeah. Okay, so, well, first thing to yeah. start off with, I think as like, you know, as a clinic can be, it can be kind of easy to see from like an outside perspective, 3W as sort of this like vague entity or like, oh, this is a women's clinic. But in reality, it's made of people like it's made of you. It's made of me. But for you as the CEO, as one of the founders Mm -hmm. of of 3W, you like are coming from a very informed background of having worked with a lot of the people who come to our clinic for these Mm. services. And so I guess like coming from your perspective of having this vision and founding 3W in, in your perspective, you know, Mm -hmm. who is 3W and what do we do and what is our mission? Mm -hmm. So 3W was created because my friend Melanie and I felt like what we experienced just being young women on the UW campus, even though we live in a very wealthy, resourceful city, and the UW campus is one of like the richest campuses in our nation, Mm -hmm. there was still lack of resources for healthcare. Surprise, surprise. Especially women's healthcare. Mm -hmm. Women's healthcare is exceedingly complex. It is very unique to the individual 
And we felt like when we went to the doctors ourselves, when we went to Hall Health, when we went to Mm. any of the resources around here, there was very, we were either being dismissed, we were not being listened to, we were being very talked down to, and maybe... You know, maybe it was because of our age and our lack of understanding of exactly how to navigate the medical world and medical Mm. system. You know, as you've been here, Teresa, for the last six months, I mean, talking to a medical professional, they're in their own world sometimes, right? Right. They have their own language, like going into a foreign country. And sometimes you're kind of like, whoa, I don't know what I don't know. And I didn't even get all of my questions answered. Mm -hmm. And so... Melanie and I just felt like there was such a need for a an accessible medical resource that provides high standards of care, but slowed down the conversation so re- we could really understand all the medical choices that we have available to us. What's the root cause of the medical issue that we're going to see a medical professional for? And have it be very, very accessible. And that's why 3W is structured the way it is. We don't take any insurance. We we try to get you in for your appointment within the week if you call or email or whatever. However, you reach out to us, right? There's very little wait time. And all of your appointments are up to an hour. Mm-hmm. All of the consultations are up to an hour. Yep. Where, where do you get anything free for an hour these <laughs> <Nowhere>. days? Nowhere. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Right. And so I really we really wanted to build a place that's centered around patients and not around revenue. Yeah. And I think I think 3W embodies that we've been open for the last four years. The reason why we're so accessible connects to our success as an Mm. organization that really. Yeah really pays attention to the needs of our patients. Totally. There's no, you're not on the clock. You know, there's no billing. Mm-hmm. There, There's no one looking at their watch going, okay, well, yeah. you just spent $300 for this conversation. Have oh a nice gosh. day. You know, have a nice yeah. day. Bye. You know, don't come back <sighs> if you don't have any questions. Like, and, and, you know, women's health, like I said, is so complex. Mm-hmm. You need time to really peel back that onion to go, okay, if it's not this problem, then it must be this problem. Oh, it's not that problem. Let's peel back another thing. Mm -hmm. And this is where you can have those in-depth medical conversations that you've never been able to have with with someone like in the area. Right. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. And I think that's, that's really what we envisioned for... 3W as as an organization as a mission is to be accessible is to is to not pressure anyone into any quick decisions is to be compassionate is to be loving is to be a safe space mm-hmm. for you to be who you are and say these are these are my issues how mm-hmm. can we navigate this together yeah yeah so yeah that's who we are in a nutshell yeah that's yeah, that's so well said. I can tell that you've been talking about this for years and years. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, even thinking about my own experiences at the doctors, like one time I went to this this one small clinic and like I was getting tested for something and like I was experiencing like cold symptoms. So I just like listed it on there. Mm-hmm. And then they had a provider come in and talk to me about my symptoms. I, I think it was like a headache or something. Mm-hmm. I just put it down because I was like, OK, well, maybe I should just put this down just because. Okay. And then they charged me two hundred dollars for like a two minute conversation with yeah. that doctor. Isn't that silly? And I'm like, what <laughs> about my headache? Yeah. <laughs> like. Oh, it was. I mean, that yeah. two hundred dollar conversation should have come with like a head scan. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. Like, she didn't even. She just gave me a bunch of papers that said drink water, or take Tylenol. She didn't even tell me what to do. She just handed me a stack of papers and was like, "Okay, you're you're done." And then I got the bill. It's oh, like two hundred bucks. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and unfortunately, that that type of scenario is very common these days, mm-hmm. and that's what we are trying to do the opposite here at 3W. Yeah. We are trying our best to if we say we're going to give you an hour, 
hang out for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I yeah. mean, like if your appointment ends at 30 minutes and you still have other questions about other things, totally. really exhaust it, you know, mm-hmm. because we really want you to have unrushed care. Yeah. That's the only care. That's the only type of care that you should have in healthcare these days mm-hmm. because healthcare is really intimidating. It is. It is very it is. intimidating. You don't know what to ask. Exactly. And if you ask the wrong thing, you know, you, you could get charged. Yeah. You know, like, $200 for a headache. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah, that's that's what we're really trying to do is change, change this one size fit all you are a walking dollar sign mm. kind of mentality mm-hmm. about healthcare here at 3W. Yeah, which I think is how it, it should be everywhere. Like, Amen, sister. But, yeah. You mm-hmm. know, so yeah. come into 3W. Yeah. We come got you covered. In. Yeah. Ask Test all your out. questions. Test it out. See if we would kick you out in an hour. We won't. <laughs> you can come all the time. Yeah, I think coming on recently. I mean, I knew I knew about 3W before I started working here, but now mm-hmm. learning more about who works here and like what we do and even interacting with patients when I was receptionist for a little bit is like, mm-hmm. wow, this is this is something really unique. This is something really different and amazing that oh, thank like you. people need. Yeah, so it's just incredible. But kind of moving on to our next question. Yeah. So with starting a clinic, it's, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure not an easy process. Like you can't just be like, all right, here's a building and <laughs> I'm going to grab some people who are in science and we're just going to start seeing people. Yeah. And so could you talk a bit more about like who our providers are? What are yeah. their credentials? Um, maybe even talking about our accreditation yeah. and things like that. Yeah, I think what's really special and wonderful about us is our providers. Our providers are just amazing, amazing women who love their job, love what they do. They're not burnt out from Mm -hmm. the healthcare system. You know, a lot Mm -hmm. of people, unfortunately, right now, you know, after COVID and everything, have been just really jaded by the healthcare mm. system, by the healthcare world, especially corporate healthcare, you know, where yeah. you see you're constantly being asked to see caseloads that are kind of impossible to get through mm-hmm. sometimes. Charting at home is what I is what I hear a lot of medical professionals complain about is like they have to take their work home. Yeah. And I'm not saying that our medical professionals can turn off their care for 3W patients, it's because they want to care. They Mm -hmm. are here because they love the mission. They're here because they're also women that have a extensive background in truly caring for the individual in front of them. So we have Dr. Rutherford, who's our co-medical director. She has, oh gosh, like 30, 40 plus Mm -hmm. years of experience Mm -hmm. in maternal field medicine. She used to work at Evergreen, opened her own, you know, department there. And then we have Christy, who's a nurse practitioner, also many, many, many decades of years under her belt of, of primary care and now women's health. She's fantastic. Then we have Chris who's another nurse practitioner who works extensively, has been working extensively in the nonprofit world, healthcare world. Mm -hmm. And so she understands the nonprofit world, I think, the most between all three of them. And then we have Annabelle, who's our certified medical assistant who assists all three providers. And between all of them, it's a great team of women who understand women issues, who... Mm who literally sometimes forget the clock. Most of the time, actually, (laughs) not sometimes, most of the time, they forget that you have an hour because they can talk your ear off about your health care. And Mm -hmm. they, they love women's health. They love learning themselves. You know, every single patient is this new person that they get to interact with, this new problem that they might not know about. And so together, you and your provider are learning and navigating this issue together. Of course, they have resources that your average person doesn't have. And so they have this extensive network that they can tap into when they don't know something or if they have a follow-up question or something like that. Mm -hmm. But they are a wealth of knowledge themselves. And, you know, we, we used to employ 
nurses and that was wonderful, but they couldn't do pap smears. And now we have nurse practitioners that can do paps that could write prescriptions. Mm -hmm. And that has just really elevated our, our ability to meet our patients' needs right then and there. They're mm -hmm. not going somewhere else to get that prescription. They're not having to be passed on to someone else that could do their pap or poor Sue had to do all the paps, you know? Yeah. So um, so now all three of them can do pap smears. All three of them yeah. can write prescriptions. That's awesome. And that's a game changer. As well as us achieving our accreditation three years ago, we worked really, really hard. We worked two years to achieve that accreditation. And that accreditation has helped us really solidify ourselves as providing high standards of care in the Seattle area. We're competitive with any hospital setting out there. So for for the medical people that are listening to this, our accreditation is equivalent to joint commission, what you do in the hospital setting. And so our accreditation actually is the same accreditation company as the whole UW medical system. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how, however they're accredited, we're the same. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's super cool to be able to stand toe to toe with mm -hmm. a very well respected medical system in yes. our community. Yes. And so it, it was well worth the investment the time that we spent. Um, we have another survey coming up um, right. this year because three years went by super fast. And we're hoping to knock it out of the park like we did last time. And that helps, that, that accreditation helps not only us stay on track and stay updated on all the new high standards of care that are constantly changing in healthcare, mm -hmm. but it also helps reassure our patients that, we're the real deal. Mm -hmm. We're the real deal. They don't give accreditations to fake clinics. Mm -hmm. That yeah. it, that doesn't yeah. happen. Okay, <laughs> you can't just roll up in a van and said, "We're a clinic now," you know, or or something like that. And it's me. That's what that's you know in doing your car. Your give me a yeah, piece of like, paper. Uh, no, that's not the case. We are the real deal, and achieving that accreditation again solidifies that we are supposed to be here and we are taking care of our patients mm -hmm. at a standard above yeah. the norm. Yeah. Which is awesome, right? Yeah. Who doesn't want to be seen by some place that's like that? So we're super exactly. proud of that. Yeah. And like, I mean, as you said, like above the norm, even thinking about we provide all these services and we provide high quality health care that extends like beyond like I guess the services themselves like you were just talking about our providers and how just how considerate and compassionate they are to mm -hmm. the patients mm -hmm. like as you said it's it's kind of rare to find that in the medical world like you yeah. know even thinking about my own doctor's like I see them for 15 minutes and they kind of, I just, you just feel kind of dismissed. And mm -hmm. so it's like mm -hmm. you are, when you come to 3W, you are receiving this high quality care. And within that includes this holistic care, a provider who truly cares about you as a person and not just as like a number or mm -hmm. somebody to fix. It's like right. you, you have a background, you have emotions and experiences that are complex mm -hmm. and you have providers who are ready to receive that yeah they really they really value the person that's sitting in front of them and they want to hear your story they want to get to know you the fact that we are a nonprofit clinic that does not base its satisfaction on okay the the good care that you're receiving we get more money that's mm. that's not the equivalence to it so the fact that they just take everything, holistic care, wellness care into consideration freely is mm -hmm. very unique, yeah. is very unique. And they, you know, I've I've seen a patient come in with a certain mood or mentality about what type of care they're going to receive. And sometimes it's just they they just need someone to really listen mm -hmm. and really mm -hmm. validate their concerns, their healthcare concerns. And I think I know that our medical providers do that so well. Mm -hmm. And it's genuine. Mm -hmm. There's nothing driving it. It's just yeah. something that you do because you do it because you're you a care. kind person. Yeah. 
that's it. You're not a jerk, you know, like, <laughs> you know, and, and I think a lot of our medical providers are drawn to this work because it's real. It's real care. It's why they went into the medical world to, to do it's, mm-hmm. it's what they were called to do. And now they get to actually do it which is really cool. And we can provide that for them. We can provide that for our patient population. And, and yeah, they're just, they're just awesome, amazing women that I am very grateful to be working here, to be Mm -hmm. a part of our team, to embrace our mission as much as they have. And I think that our patients truly feel that. Oh yeah. They really partner with our patients on their healthcare. Yeah. And that's a true partnership. Yeah, it's a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even when I was receptionist for what, one or two months, Mm -hmm. just like seeing the difference in the patients when they come in and they're like really nervous or just scared. And then when they come out and they're just so like elated and like, wow, that was such a good appointment. And it's like, I wasn't even in your appointment, but I can just tell how much it like really impacted you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's beautiful, like Mm -hmm. to see the work that is being done. Yeah, they I I can I can definitely see that. You know, I was receptionist for about a couple of months when we started. (laughs) And so I got to see that firsthand as well. And I also I think it makes a big difference when that's the mentality that you have towards a patient, a a provider patient relationship. Mm -hmm. It makes Mm -hmm. healthcare so much approachable, so much hope, so more attainable. Yeah, it makes it makes a big difference. Yeah, and definitely. I, yeah, and you know, our patient testimonies also reflect that, which is awesome. We are mm-hmm. always looking for good feedback from our patient population. I mean, no matter what, our providers and the people that work here are human, and so we make mistakes sometimes. And so right. it's really great when we get critical feedback so that we can pay more attention to that or just fine-tune a couple of things. Mm-hmm. We're constantly learning how to better ourselves as an organization. So when that feedback is not always perfect, that's okay. We mm-hmm. take we take it. We can take it. Yeah. <laughs> We're big girls, we can take it. So yeah, if you're if you're wondering about how an appointment goes at 3W, make an appointment. Yeah. Come in. Check us out. Yeah, it's <laughs> free. What do you have to lose? Check yeah. out our website. Book an appointment today. Yeah, just do it already. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf says just do it. There you go. There you go. Or was it <laughs> Nike? It was Shia, Shia LaBeouf okay. with the with the just, green screen. Just, yeah, yeah green, he's <laughs> flexing his muscles. Yes. Okay, moving on to our next question. So there's a lot of different types of clinics, mm-hmm. especially around reproductive health, mm-hmm. crisis pregnancy centers. There's mm-hmm. pregnancy medical centers. Mm-hmm. I was kind of looking through this brochure just to make sure I, I knew all the different ones. <laughs> but how is 3W unique from those how is it different from something like a cpc yeah so we are a woman's reproductive health clinic we specialize in reproductive health we are not a crisis pregnancy center we do more than just pregnancy in fact most of our appointments are well woman exams and sdis it's not even Mm -hmm. pregnancy we are not a pregnancy resource center or a pregnancy medical clinic we are a woman's clinic. We are a women's reproductive health clinic. The services that we provide, we're really good at it. Mm-hmm. That's why we provide them. Mm-hmm. I don't provide everything else because mm-hmm. my providers aren't well versed in it. Our providers provide excellent care with the list of services that we provide, which is well, women exams, STIs, pregnancy test, ultrasound, GYN consults, OB consults. That's their that's their jam. That's mm-hmm. their jam. Okay. So anything outside of that, I'm sure you can go somewhere else for, and you can come and ask us. We're well knowledgeable in it, but it's not what we can provide in the space that we, that we're mm-hmm. currently occupying. Mm-hmm. in. So what we can provide, we can provide it with the utmost quality and high standards. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, we're very unique in this area. Uh, I think a lot of people are confused when they think because we don't provide X, Y, and Z, we fall under these different titles or these different Mm. types of clinics. Those clinics do something else. We're doing something else. Yeah. We're not the same. 
Yeah, exactly. And yeah, and I, I just really want to reiterate that because I think a lot of people are confused. Yeah. It's okay to be confused because then now you listen to this podcast and now you know and you're not confused anymore. Yes. Yes. But yeah, like as you said, even with the services that we don't provide, we still talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. We can talk about mm. it till you're blue in the face. You have an hour. Yeah. Or you if can you ask run, all the questions. Yeah. If you run out of that hour, you can come back again tomorrow. Yeah. And talk it about it again. You know, like we are all about informed consent. We're all mm-hmm. about educating ourselves, educating you as our patient. And the more education and the more tools you have in your resource belt, the better. Exactly. Yeah. Let's see. I think this is kind of a, the last question here. Yeah, kind of on the same note of you know, labels and kind of mislabeling us as a Mm -hmm. certain type of clinic. Sometimes people mislabel us as like a a specific political side or a Mm. religious clinic. Mm -hmm. What is kind of your response to that? Well, I can honestly and ethically say that we are not a religious organization. You can look it up on the nonprofit Washington State website. We are a 501c3. We do medical care. Mm Mm-hmm. We are not religious. We wouldn't even fit under the religious category because we don't do anything religious here. Mm -hmm. We are also not associated with any political parties. We specialize in medicine and that's it. There's a period at the end of that. You know, we are an organization that simply care about women's health and we are good at what we do, Mm -hmm. which is reproductive health, providing that that basic standard of care so that you can just function as a human being, Mm -hmm. as an everyday person. Mm -hmm. That's what we're good at. And that's the lane that we're in. You can come in and see, experience that yourself. You're just going to be well taken care of and then walk away going, Oh, darn. I was just really well taken care of. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) And I hope you know, if for folks that are skeptical about us, come just come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come in, ask your questions. Yeah. Grill me. You know, <laughs> come in and grill the CEO. Yeah, Helen, I Helen's love it. always willing to answer oh, yeah. any questions. Yeah. I'm always amazed. Oh, by thank that. you, Teresa. So. Thank you. It's because I'm a loud mouth and that's why <laughs> we have our own podcast because I can't stop talking. <laughs> Before we end, is there anything else that you would like our listeners to know about? 3W and who yeah, we are. Yeah, just I just really want to address the, that the, this this giant elephant in the room about you know reproductive health in our nation right now and all and all the the talks and frustration or or not frustrations or your heads in the sand. You don't want to listen to the news. I totally get it. The news is depressing. But if you think that we're going to change, please, please, I want to I want to assure you that 3W is here to stay. We're here to serve. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to change with us. We want to be that consistent resource for you in the community that Mm -hmm. doesn't like just bend with the wind. I think that reproductive health right now is definitely being talked a lot, uh, you know, talked a lot about, and it could be really confusing and scary. And Mm -hmm. I just want to rest, assure you that we know what we're about. We know what we're good at. And let us be that for you. Mm -hmm. Let us be that stable healthcare resource for you. We want to be that space that you don't have to wonder who we are. You don't have to wonder where we stand on things. We're just going to keep on doing what we do. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. we truly care about you, the person that's sitting in front of us, the person that walks through our door, the person that picks up the phone that that's all we want to do is serve you. And yeah. so I just want to say, you know, on the record as, as one of the leaders of three W that we're here for you and we're always going to be here for you. We're not going to change. Yeah. We're ready to serve. Yeah. You can count on that. Take that to the mat. There you go. That's what they yes. say. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much, Teresa, for joining me on this podcast and this conversation to set the record straight about who we are, about who we are as an organization and who make up the organization. It's always fun to talk about 3W. Yeah. It's what I do is what I do, (laughs) Teresa. And Teresa makes me sound so good doing it. So, um, so thank you for tuning in to this, to this informative episode. Feel free to share it with people who maybe have questions about who we are. 
share our podcast the more people that listens to it the better and spread the word that yeah. we're, we're gonna be here for you exactly yeah we love it yeah thanks Teresa. thanks listeners for more information about 3w please visit our website at 3wmedical.org that's the number three the letter w medical.org from there you can learn more information about the services we provide book an appointment, or make a donation if you'd like to support our mission. You can also call our office at 206-588-0311. That's 206-588-0311. If you like this episode, please share it with others and consider subscribing on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, stay healthy and be well.